you say my name, Kata, which is like Kate with uh on the end, obviously, and people have messed it up so bad over the years. I've been called Katie, Kato, Kayla, Kata, Kata, Kitty, Cat. <laughs> I like some of them, so whatever. As long as it starts with a K sound, I'll normally answer to it. <laughs> I first started singing when I was two years old. I begged my dad to enter me into a beauty contest so I could sing, and uh, it kind of went on from there. He didn't want me to, obviously. He didn't think I could sing, so finally he paid the $50 to kind of shut me up, and I ended up winning <laughs> the whole beauty pageant and going on to Georgia and winning the finals, and then the singing part just kind of took over the beauty pageants, and long story short, here I am. <laughs> don't actually remember much about Star Search because I was five. Um, <laughs> I remember it was a lot of fun. I know that we stayed in the middle of Disney World, right in the middle. Um, we got to go to Disney World, Sea World, um, Bush Gardens and all that stuff, Universal Studios for free all the time. We were there for like two weeks even though I was only on four episodes um, by the finals. So it was a lot of fun. Ed McMahon was really, really sweet. I remember going and talking to him in the dressing room with my dad and he talked to us for a really long time. He was really cool. I have met a lot of big names, I guess. I don't really have any super funny stories except for when I met Merle Haggard. <laughs> um, I was getting ready to go sound check. I was opening for him. He was walking off the stage. I had my camera ready, of course. And I asked him if I could have a picture with him. And he said, sure, you know. Um, he asked me what my name was, and I said, Kata. And as he slipped his arm around me real casually, he said, you mind if I call you Mary? <laughs> I still don't know what that meant. But I said, of course, call me whatever you want to. I met my husband in 2005. We were both working at a theater. He was the bass man. I was the lead singer. Um, we both left there after one year, and we wanted a way to play music together, and so we started the band Kate and the Blaze, and started doing a lot of original stuff, and that eventually led to us forming the Grass Abilities, which was a band name that Robbie had come up with years ago. Um, and wanted to play like bluegrass and rockabilly all mixed together, which is really good in the area we're from. A lot easier to book than the country rock. And so we started that, and Kate and the Blaze played our last show in April, and I decided to just do my originals under my name and play with the Grass Abilities full time. And that's about it. <laughs> I don't know how to answer that question. It, it's a really crazy story. I didn't yodel at all and I entered my first yodeling contest. I just kind of messed around with it and I won it. Um, the Patsy Montana National Yodeling Championship. International Yodeling Championship. And because of that I learned more yodeling songs, ended up entering more yodeling contests over the years and somehow I ended up with five international yodeling championships. <laughs> Why not? This is going to be loud. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I have always been addicted to the internet since I was like 12 and I got my first computer. So it was just natural for me to kind of go into putting the bands and everything on there. YouTube, I actually started because I got so inspired by Lisa LaVie and Kina Granis in their videos. I decided to start my own YouTube page, and it just really took off really quickly and has become probably my favorite website, maybe my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I think one of the main good things about sharing my music on YouTube is all the people I get to meet. All kinds of different musicians 
and singers and now I'm starting to do a lot of collaborations which is awesome which I could never do without YouTube it's awesome um, but I think that I think that's my favorite part is getting all the comments and writing people back and getting to know them I'm a people person big time my musical goals are to stay as happy as I can and still be playing music <laughs> whatever that means um, if an opportunity knocks, I will answer the door and ask him a bunch of questions. And if I think I'll still be happy, then I'll go hang out with opportunity. Did that make sense? I'd love to recommend Logan Merle and Maddie Bailey and Allie Rhodes and Katie Davis. And I don't know her last name, uh, Nicole, but her screen name's Nicholas Cage 09. They're some of my favorites at the moment, so go check them out. I actually have never heard of any of those. I guess I am super, super duper in the dark, but I will go check them out now. <laughs> I just think that <laughs> if I was born in the 30s or 40s, I would have been like a teenager or in my 20s in the 50s or 60s, which I love. I love anything vintage. I love the hair, the makeup, the clothes, the music, the everything about it. I just, I adore it. And I wish I could have been around then. I could have rocked the pompadour. No. The beehive. Yes! My favorite movie musical is definitely Oklahoma when the wind comes sweeping down the plains. Because I'm from Oklahoma. Enough said. I love everything Marilyn Monroe, but if I had to pick a favorite film, it would be Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. And favorite number, of course, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. That one's fake. Definitely car. Well, I actually haven't bitten my nails in like two weeks mostly, except for that one. So I guess that one tastes best. last CD I purchased was actually Shakira's, um, what's it called? Laundry Service. I know it's old, but I got it for four dollars, and I love Shakira. Yeah. Um, I'd like to watch a Fred video, because I love Fred. I'm sorry, is that bad? I really do. www.kadahay.com